Okay, so let's talk about video. Now, video really could mean a lot of different things, but it happens a lot, kind of think of it as a spectrum. Very heavy on the video here, a little lighter toward the middle, eventually moving to almost no video at all. So down here would be very heavy video of direct instruction. So direct instruction would be if I copied or turned the video to me doing a something on the board, or if I simply talked to you like this the entire time, this would be very heavy video. It's not very engaging. Now, it is repeatable, it is copyable, and it can be accessed 24 seven. So it has some bonuses, but it's not really ideal. Now, on the other end of the spectrum would be rare video. Now, here's what rare video would be. It's actually what we are doing right now. This is going to be just a really quick clip to explain some sort of topic, but it would be embedded in a much larger presentation or a much larger project, which this will be. So in the middle, you have all sorts of things. You could have something that is a screencast. And that is simply where you re record your screen from either a PowerPoint, uh, a slides presentation could be a handwritten thing like I'm doing here where it's kind of a document camera old overhead projection style. It could be something where it's more like an ed puzzle where it is a video and it's direct instruction, but now there's an interactive component to it. So whereas this is all teacher directed, the spectrum moves to student directed. And of course, that's where we're headed here. Now, let's give an example of rare video. Very similar to what we're doing today. This is just a real quick video that gives you some sort of quick instruction or quick example of a very specific skill or a very specific topic. And so the videos are only there to supplement something else much larger that's happening. So take a look and think about all the video as happening on a spectrum.